Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Builder Buy. We now are on the process of uh, updating the BIOS. And what you want to do when you update your BIOS is you want to step through them. There are two BIOS updates for this motherboard. So we've stepped through the first one and the second one. I'm going to go into the BIOS and show you what it looks like real quick. So we're going to power this machine up and go into the BIOS. And now the easiest way to get into the BIOS is from here by pressing the delete key. There's three ways to do it, but this is the way we like to do it. And then over here to QFlash. Now you can update the BIOS or you can save the BIOS. What I like to do is have a memory stick that's different than the others that's kind of peculiar. I've got this set up for FAT32, just to keep things simple. It's a larger drive than what's necessary and it's not good use of space. Typically for drives that I use for Windows Media Creation Tool to create the ISO or for updating BIOSes, I put them on a, a FAT32 disk and I like to keep them at uh, 32 gigs or less. Now, there's other procedures that you can go through for updating this BIOS that are very specific about the size and the format. For example, if we were to use the QFlash Plus, then we'd need to have this set up as a USB 2 drive. Well, because of what we're doing, we can use USB 3. So we're going to use USB 3 FAT32. But if we use the QFlash Plus, we'd be able to just hit that button on the back when the correct port, it would see it, pick it up, update the BIOS. But this is going to work. So I need to plug this in. So we're in the BIOS. We'll plug our stick of memory in, and let's take a look and see what we've got on the uh, disk. Now, we've already stepped through the process of updating the BIOS, but we're going to look at the disk. doesn't see the disk, so we got to reboot the computer with the disk on there, so when it, the device enumerates, it sees it. It's interesting, they've got a bug in the BIOS, because normally when you go in the BIOS and look, and then you save it, you say yes and exit, uh, this just freezes the screen. So there's a bug they still got to fix. So we're going to have to press the power button, turn it off, turn it back on. So they still need to do a BIOS update to fix that bug. And what we're waiting for, as soon as this will let me, I'm pressing the delete key and we're into the BIOS. Okay, fantastic. We've already updated the BIOS. This motherboard shipped with BIOS F2. If we go to Gigabyte site, there's an F1, an F3, and I believe an F4. Uh, I've got them on the disk. We're gonna look at them and I'll show you what the process is. Up here on the far right where it says QFlash F8, I'll just press F8, and this takes us to it. Now I can save the BIOS, which I'll show you what that looks like. I have three files for this motherboard on this disk. The fourth one is for a different chipset. I've got the F2, which is what the motherboard shipped with. We've stepped through with the F3, and right now we have F4C. So what I'm going to do is make a backup copy of F4C. I'll click on it. I've got the file name. But what I'm going to do is step through this, TRX40-2, F4C, and I'm going to make a backup copy. And if you notice here in the upper left-hand corner, BIOS TRX40 Designare, BIOS version F4C, with a BIOS date of 3-5-2020. So all I'm doing is making a backup. This will give you an idea of the procedure. This is pretty quick for saving the backup. And if I were to write to the backup, it would show the backup being written to and also give me a, a box where I could check and say let's do the backup BIOS, which I've already done. Okay, BIOS image saved. Click on that. If I wanted to update it, again I would pick the file, like that file, it names it, and then when I click next it would overwrite it. I don't need to do that because I've already done it, I just wanted to show you as we step through it. Uh, and there's one other error you might get because the memory is still in here. And what we need to do is pull this memory out, otherwise we're going to get an error. I'm going to leave it and show you what that error would be, so you're not freaking out thinking something's wrong with your disk. It's not. So we're going to escape from that, and escape from that, and we should be able to hit escape. Exit without saving, I'm going to say yes, and let's see if it'll reboot. It did. Okay. Now the purpose of this is I want you guys to see this error when it pops up on screen. I'll take it back over. Right now it's going through the boot process and it's trying to figure out what's going on. What you're going to typically see is that little cursor in the upper left hand corner. Uh, it may go through one boot loop or two boot loops as it cycles because it still sees this memory stick. I want you to see what that error is to know that there's not a problem. It's just the sequence. Once we pull that out, that goes away. But as soon as I have it up here on screen, I'll show you and we'll clear the error out. This is just a real quick about what goes on with the BIOS. You don't have to be afraid of it, but this is one way to do it. There's three ways. The third way that we used to use, which was our favorite, was we used to install the application within Windows and do that. But then you had to install now a parent application before you can use that other application to do the BIOS. Don't want all that bloatware. So, not going to have any of that. That can cause problems like a BSOD. Not worth it. This is for work. This is for audio and video. Nothing extemporaneous. 
So we'll update the BIOS this way. The other way is if you have to do it from the back with a Q flash. Now it's just sitting here doing nothing. So we'll power off. So they've still got an error in the BIOS that they need to resolve when you update your BIOS if we go in and change any settings. That's curious. I got a setting in there I'm going to show you about the hot swap and hot plug right quick once we get back up. But I want to show you this error that occurs. Okay, we heard the buzzer. It beeped. And we should get an error. Gigabyte. Well, it says gigabyte right now. While it's trying to boot, it should not boot. Well, it did. Well, it's hard to know about the errors they fixed. That error they fixed too. So when we updated the BIOS to the current version, the issue about the disk I.O., if you're running BIOS version F2 or if you're running BIOS version F3, either one of those BIOS versions will give that disk error. The disk error is not a problem. It's just saying, but they fixed it with F4. So it didn't happen this time. Pull that out. Okay, we're back up in Windows. 